bright things. Oh, there's so many sisters doing amazing things right now, I, especially as black women directors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Victoria Mahoney, Tina Mabry, Dee Reese, there's a sister named Nefertiti and Gugu that just shot a film in New York for in nine days, mm -hmm. a feature. Uh, uh, shot by Arthur Jaffa, who shot Daughters of the Dust. Julie Dash is making a film in the summer. I just had dinner with Julie Dash and Nima Barnett in New York. Both of them are planning amazing things. And there's women that we don't even you know, know about that haven't even shot anything yet. I'm always getting emails from Sisters Doing Shorts. Facebook messages, Kickstarter campaigns that are going. It definitely feels like there's renewed energy around uh, specifically black women filmmakers. And I think, you know, just in a, in a, with a larger perspective, I know this year I've met so many, you know, women filmmakers of all stripes. Um, you know, my Sundance Award for Best Director was handed to me by Lynn Shelton, who did an amazing film called My Sister Sister that won Best Ensemble last night. And um, there's a woman named Aurora Guerrero, Latina sister, who uh, has this ma amazing film called Mosquita Imari. Um, so I think it's a bright, a bright future. Oh, and you know, you can't forget <coughs> Catherine Bigelow. I think we kind of are like, oh yeah, and Catherine Bigelow, because yeah, she's well, reached yeah. the pinnacle. Right. But I mean, Zero Dark Thirty, the things we're hearing about it, and what kind of film that is, and just breaking the boundaries of what we think of as a, what a, <coughs> a woman can direct. Mm -hmm. It's just a really exciting time, so I think it's a bright future. <laughs>